Right now, I'm going to show you how to take the photos that you've uploaded to Lightroom Classic on your laptop, how to transfer those over to your desktop. So essentially, we're learning how to share photos and all your edits between different machines. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com and today we're going to do something which is very highly requested. I've just been traveling and I've got my photos, I've been up uploading them to Lightroom Classic on my laptop every single day. Some of them I've made edits and other ones I haven't. So now I want to take all those photos and those edits and I want to move them over to my desktop and merge them all together. Let's go through that process right now. So the first thing we do is we go into our laptop and we're going to launch our Lightroom Classic. And I can see my photos here. I've got 2300 photos. And I've organized these into different groups, different dates, by shoot, all this kind of fun stuff. All right, so one of the things I'm going to do is I need to use a drive to share these photos between the different computers. So what you want to do is you want to take your drive and just plug it into your computer. And right now I'm using the SanDisk Extreme Drive. It's an SSD drive and it's very quick. Now, this is not sponsored by, by SanDisk, um, but what I'll do is I'll give you guys a link to it underneath um, in case you're interested. Okay, so now what we want to do is I'm going to go up under here and I'm going to choose all photographs so I know I've got all the photos in there. And then I'm just going to go down here where it says export here. If you hold the option or the alt key, instead of export, it's going to say export catalog. And that's definitely what I want to do. All right, so I want to go to the extreme disk here. So I'll see it there it is, extreme SSD. And I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this LR Hawaii, which is where I happen to be in Hawaii. Great. So I'm going to call this Hawaii 2020. And this is going to be the name of the catalog. Now what I want to do is I don't want to export selected photos only. I want to export all of them. And I can see right now I've got 2316 and it says export a catalog of 2316 photos. Perfect. That's what I want. And I want to include the negative files. The negative files are the images. If you don't include the negative files, it's going to copy over all the metadata, but you're not going to have any of the images. Now, if you have the same images on two computers and you just want to copy over your settings or the changes you've made, that will work perfectly. But in this case, I want to export all the photos and everything. Don't want to uh, build and include the smart previews? No, I can make smart previews anytime I want. And I'm not even going to include the available previews. I'll let my computer build those. If you have a slower computer, um, then go ahead and do that. But in this case, I'm not even going to bother because I have a super fast computer that I'm going to and I'll allow it to rebuild those previews. And it'll just save a little bit of space. Now, of course, if you want to turn that on, you can. And all that does is it just takes all the JPEG images over. It'll take a little bit more space. So it'll be a little bit more copying time, but a little less processing time on the other end. All right. And now I'm just going to choose export catalog. And now this is going to build everything and it's going to start exporting. We can see up in the top left corner here, there's our progress bar. And this is going to export. And of course, you know, you could go cross platform across Windows or PC um, and Mac, whatever your main machine is. In my case, I've got a MacBook Pro and I'm going to be moving those files over to my Mac Pro, which is where I do the majority of my real work. Then when you're finished, eject your drive and unplug it. All right, we're just going to take our drive here and I'm going to plug it into the top of my Mac Pro. Okay, and so now I've plugged in the drive and what I want to do is launch a Lightroom Classic right here on the Mac Pro. So I'm on my main machine right now. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is make sure I have the right catalog, which I do. So this is my um, Lightroom 2021 catalog. Great, so what I want to do now is I want to bring everything in. So I'm going to choose import, but don't click import yet. Hold down the alt or the option key and you'll see it changes to import catalog. I'm going to click on import catalog. Now I'm going to choose the location. So the location I'm going to go to is this stream drive that I just plugged in. 
And of course, if you remember, I created this folder called LR Hawaii. And here we have Hawaii 2020. So I'm going to click on there. And you'll see there's the catalog that we exported from the laptop. So we're going to click on choose. Now we've got to manage this a little bit. So let's have a look here. Let me click on the show preview and it'll just let me see the images. So there should be 2,316 images there. And I can see there's all the folders that I created them in. That folder structure is intact, which is wonderful. I'm just going to drag this open a little bit so we can see it better. And what I want to do is I want to copy these to the other computer. So file handling, we've got the options, copy new photos to a location and import. This is definitely what we want to do. So let's choose the location we want to put them in. I'm going to put them on my SSD drive. And this is where I keep all my photos. And we've got photos right there. So I've got one folder here called places, which I like to bring a lot of my stuff in here under places. And I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Hawaii 2020 and choose create It's going to create a new folder. Now I could drop those into an existing Hawaii folder and merge them if I wanted, but this is where the photos are going to stay or where they're actually going to live on my hard drive. So this is my external raid, the Thunder Bay, and I'm choosing that. And this is what's going to happen. So now I have the option if I want to replace any uh, metadata, and in this case, I'm not replacing anything because these are all new photos. So I'm going to replace nothing. Or you could turn on metadata develop settings. It doesn't matter. That's the default. But you have these settings. If we were bringing in just the metadata, say I had two sets of those photos and all I wanted to do is just bring in the changes or the edits without, without making an additional copy of the photos. But in this case, we're moving everything over and we're going to merge it into our existing catalog. So this is going to work nicely. And we could preserve the old settings, but we're not going to bother with any of that. Okay, so we've got everything we want here. This is looking good. And now I'm going to choose import. And you'll notice it's going to start importing all of this. Okay, so right now it's copying those photos over from my portable storage device or my SSD. And it's putting them to that location on uh, my hard drive. And then when the import is complete, we're going to see it here under previous import. And is there 2,276 photos? And if we scroll through here, we can see all the photos are in there. And it's going to rebuild these thumbnails, which is not really a big deal. Just all it is is just a little bit of time. And if you see some ones that have been adjusted, we can have a look through here and let's look at the adjustments. And that will show me just the adjusted ones. And I can see here, you know, here's some photos that I've changed the settings on them, some of the panoramas and stuff that I've done. And you can see that they're all there right now. We can go down and we see there's Hawaii 2020. Let's open that up. And if you look under there, the entire uh, directory structure is intact. This is how I set up the subfolders. And you can see I sorted it by day, by camera. And all of that remains. And that's all being copied over from my laptop. Now, if I want to add this, I can simply take this and I can drag it down. Watch this. Then if I drag these down to collections, there's Hawaii. Why don't I drop it under there? And so I've already created a collection group of some of my Hawaii trips. And there we go. We've got Hawaii 2020. And they're all in here, all the adjustments, the metadata, everything that I've applied to this photograph is all intact. All right, so here's all the photos imported. Now, if you'd like to see these photos, I'm going to be processing them and I'm going to be uploading them to Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Photoshop Cafe and drop a comment and say hi. So I have a question for you. Is this something you've struggled with? Is this tutorial helped you? And also what other things do you struggle with in Lightroom? Would you like to see me do more of these kind of practical tutorials where I walk you through the whole process? Let me know in the comments underneath. And by the way, if you're new here to Photoshop Cafe, welcome. Consider hitting that subscribe button right now and you're going to get a new tutorial from me every single week. 
And if you like this, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.